What's up guys, welcome to A Reseller's Life. My name is Chris, giving you a quick update on the thousand item listing challenge with Sellhound. Going a little bit slower than I expected, but I still set a record for myself yesterday doing 140 or 150 listings with Sellhound, which is a lot for me, considering I'm also being distracted by this opportunity to buy people's death piles. Um, there's a lot of people giving up on their reselling dreams right now, so um, I'm offering two options. I can either buy you straight out, uh, meaning you just drop off all your inventory and I will pay you cash, or um, we can you can drop it off and I will sell it to you, sell it wholesale to people. Um, and if you're a really good thrifter, that probably is not too bad. Um, this person just dropped off about a thousand pieces and it's really good stuff. We've got this polo uh, vintage cashmere wool sw Christmas sweater. Unfortunately, it won't get there before Christmas, but this is a nice piece. This polo dry goods hat, really, really, really good thrifter. So this person is gonna be getting top dollar for their items and they can just continue to shop. Um, that person has opted to do the 50-50, so whatever we sell it for, that person's just gonna take half. So that ends up working out. Um, I have the audience to move people's goods and also I can show you how to sell it. Uh, the goal will be to at least sell for double what you paid for plus shipping. So if you buy the lot for 100, sell it for at least 200 plus shipping and you're going to ideally net at least 50% on your money. That's how I'm organizing it. Um, so I really am enjoying this concept of um, listing with a partner. So James and I have been crushing. We're much more productive when we're together than we are separately. We're gonna try two more methods tomorrow. Um, but honestly, this is a little weird, but I honestly think that with Sellhound, James and I could list 400 items a day. That's kind of insane, right? 400 items a day, that would take, that's like some people's annual output in one day, right? So just because People are asking me, why am I using Sellhound? It's because it fills in the item specifics for me and it guesses the price. So when you're picking up goods for one or $2 or under 10, like um, I would rather just have Sellhound tell me what they think it's gonna sell for and then I can adjust it instead, instead of doing sell similar and um, spending time researching that. Plus entering in the item specifics is really tedious when you're trying to do volume. So it's like, either do it perfectly by yourself on a small scale or do it really big and skimp on lots of different things like the store i always talk about is shop material world and that store has two pictures no measurements crazy volume lots of negative feedback kind of a crappy user experience but they're going for volume that's two ladies in brooklyn i think they do two or three million dollars a year and ebay is just part of their business so you can be on that scale and never answer any of the questions yourself because um, they are they have outsourced everything. They don't do anything except for the um, setting up the buying parts. And the buying parts for them are actually um, based on a mailing list. So they do marketing. People send in what they have and they professionally lowball those people, buy the stuff for their store. Very cool story, those two ladies in Brooklyn. But that's Shop Material World. I kind of want to go for a hybrid. Um, I want to do a store where I give people um, a really premium experience, but also I want to do volume. And the volume that I've decided on doing is 400 items per week. That's not too crazy. Um, I mean, eventually, um, it's like for me, I'm really happy finally setting like a limit. I could do more than that, obviously, but 400 in a week is awesome. And now James and I figured out how we can list 400 items in one day. That means six days of shopping, one day of listing. And that's a, that's a decent amount going through. I can actually sell items for cheaper than my competition um, because I have the advantage of being able to do some volume. So super excited. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's get into the clarification before we get into the lots. Um, I know there's not a lot of lots and there's a lot of people who want them. That's okay. Um, just let me know if you're interested in the lots, either in the comment section below or send me an email, chris at dailyrefinement.com. I am buying more and more death piles from people who do not want to resell. Um, reselling is a lot of different jobs, guys. It's buying, listing, shipping, storing, all that good stuff. If you only want to do the buying, there's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of people who never want to leave their house, like me. I'd rather all my inventory comes to me. Um, I love open opening boxes and, and there's just amazing shoes to resell inside of them. I don't want to go thrifting. Um, I just want to pick up amazing thrifted goods. Th this is making me really happy that this person literally dropped off a thousand items that are like Patagonia or better. 
right? So very cool that someone took the time to do that, but they have no interest in, in, in selling it. They just don't want to list. Um, even with these platforms being easier and easier to list, they just have no interest in doing that. They just want to hunt the uh, amazing finds. Now, what I consider amazing, honestly, is if you're buying something for under 10 and you're selling it for 20 or more, that's actually fairly impressive. Most of the stuff on eBay, honestly, sells for $15 or less. Half of the website is $12 or less. Okay, so finding an item that's $20 or more plus shipping is already pretty impressive, honestly. I'm going to take a quick note from Craigslist Hunter. Most people do not donate items that are over $30. Okay, it's, it's, it's like... I, I'm pretty sure that is a proven statistic. For me, I don't think I've ever donated an item that's worth over $30 ever. Um, so that means there's some skill required to go into a thrift store and cherry pick the very few items that are over $30. Now, that being said, there are tons of items that are $20 or more plus shipping. And you can build a very healthy business on average items. Um, shout out to reseller project, Michelle. She is in Idaho. They do not have great brands. When she watches these reseller a lot, she's going to be like, that's from, for us, like Patagonia is like, I wouldn't say like old Navy, but it's really common where I live. It's, it's like, you're going to find it every single day when you go thrifting. The only brand for some reason is not here is Vineyard Vines. I, I never see Vineyard Vines in the Bay Area, but pretty much every other fan, I see more Gucci and Louis Vuitton than Vineyard Vines. It must just be where I live. Um, but that being said, um, if you are in a position where you live in a city and you only want to do shopping, reach out to me, let me know so I can provide these, these goods. And I'm specifically looking for shoes. Um, so again, let's get into these lots. If you guys um, want to check out the group, it's reseller collective on Facebook. It's a private group search for it, apply. Um, if you answer the rules, you'll automatically get accepted in it's free. And if you want first dibs, eventually I'm going to require people to be in my Patreon group, at least at the $1 level to buy these lots, just so I know who you are. And again, we don't, I just want to sell the best stuff to the best resellers. It's pretty straightforward. I want to create a help, a happy little network of people that, and I really, really love reseller to reseller boxes. This is the best because somebody is already cherry picking for you. So you can just pick it up. So I like this a lot better than liquidation where you might potentially buy 20 of the exact same thing and the market's kind of flooded. It can't really sustain selling 20 of the exact same SKU, right? So appreciate your guys' time. Let's check out the wholesale. All lots. right, guys, this is lot number one. This is sort of a, a cherry picked thrifting. So we got a mountain hardware um, zip up. Got an Oscar de la Renta sweater. Um, this is a Banana Republic. Um, sweater that's um, gonna be really cheap. It, it is new without tags, but it's not a more premium brand uh, Vintage Lacoste windbreaker uh, Patagonia zip up. That's a really nice piece um, Got a Ralph Lauren polo cashmere and wool holiday sweater Unfortunately, this probably will not get to the customer before Christmas, but really nice piece and then a Patagonia Capoline um shirt so this is a really nice lot this is lot right, number guys, one this is lot number two it's more mostly north face uh north face denali number one number two is a um north face fleece number three is an aeropostal sweatshirt that i'll just include for free um this is a, a nicer um wool rich jacket vintage very cool Old rich women's jacket. Nice piece. So nine total North Faces on this lot. Um, this is a nice one, another Denali jacket, women's. Uh, this is a heavier Denali, nice one. This is an REI jacket, I believe. Yep, an REI jacket, very, very nice. Excellent condition. Another um, Denali fleece. And yeah, guys, remember on these um, lots, there's always returns allowed. Another fleece. Okay, another Denali fleece. A Reebok jacket. 
And then two more north Lot face. number three. This is a Land's End uh, overcoat, really nice. Um, we have a Banana Republic pea coat, um, brand new without tags. And then nine north faces. Um, Denali, regular fleece, regular fleece, regular fleece. This is the uh, fuzzy fleece. This is a um, down heavier coat. Um, regular full zip, a purple Denali, and then another just regular fleece. Cool. That's number three. Nine North Faces, Land's End, and a Banana Public Pea Coat. Um, the, the UPS jacket um, at the bottom here is not included because I thrifted it and it's dope. So Lot number keep it. four. Um, hooded, um, heavy North Face hooded uh, vest. That's number one. Number two, this is a GH Bass um, sweater. Not that great, so it's probably included free in the lot. Um, the third piece is a North Face Denali. Um, nice. Fourth piece is this Columbia rain jacket. Should probably keep this, but let you guys have it. It's a uh, men's size medium. Four, here is a um, North Face black fleece. That's five. Columbia sweatshirt, size extra large, six. Denali, size seven, another North Face. Number eight is this Tommy Hilfiger uh, sweater. Um, nice piece. Number nine, Aeropostale jean jacket. Women's size medium. Nice piece. Number eight, another North Face fleece. Number nine is this Lacoste vintage red sweater. Very cool. And then I have five of these Aeropostale sweater. It's like a sweater dress. Um, size small, medium, and large. There's five of them. They're all brand new, so that's sort of a replenishable. So 14 pieces. Okay, box lot. number five. Um, this is gonna have eight North Face, two Columbia, and a Nike snow jacket. So Nike jacket. There's one Columbia ski jacket, and then the rest are North Face. So I'm just gonna go through them. It's a uh, essentially 11 pieces. Eight North Face jackets or fleeces. <clears throat> Good time to sell these. Zip up. This is a, a pink Denali jacket, easy to sell. This is the fuzzy fleece, also very popular. This is the Columbia ski. One more uh, North Face, or two more North Face fleece. This is the asymmetric zip North Face. <clears throat> this is a Nike uh, like heavy jacket. And then a Columbia ski Okay, jacket. this is lot number five. It includes some Athleta shorts. These are new without tags. Um, some Levi, two pairs of Levi's. Um, some Merrill pants. These are women's. Also some Jay Lindbergh jeans. J. Crew corduroys. Um, I've never heard of this brand. Costlin. I've heard of Pilker on the letterpress. I think that's anthropology. And then Guess. So there are 10 pieces. Um, this is lot number five. Number six is a Woolrich lot of men's shirts. Uh, one, let's see, two, three, four, five. Um, super nice lot. They're all in excellent condition. They're all extra large or bigger, so really good size. Okay, this is lot number seven. We have some men's golf shorts, um, some men's golf pants from Nike. Those are both Nike, two pairs of Nikes. Some Banana Republic shorts, size 32. These are the outlet version because you can see the three dots, just so you guys know. Um, pair of Dockers, brand new. Um, this is 42 by 32, so excellent size and new. So um, that is now four pieces. This is Banana Republic. Not the best size, um, but you know this one will basically be free with a lot. Um, then we have, what is this? 
This is some J. Crew Essential, just classic slacks. And then finally, you have a nice piece of Taylor Stitch Selvage Denim. You can see the red stitching um, on the inside. These are new without tags. They haven't been worn in. This is like a $200 pair of jeans new. Um, so this is new without tags. This is the bonus piece of the lot. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. But I'll give the Banana Republic piece for free since it's not very good, so. Okay, this is lot number eight. This is a really, really nice uh, Ralph Lauren jacket. I forgot what these are called, um, these type of buttons, but they're like tooth buttons. This is a several hundred dollar jacket. Um, so again, really cool thrift piece and um, yeah, this one should go quick. This is just a single Nine, item. Nine, just lock. 35 pairs of jeans. There's J. Crew match stick. There's five pairs of James jeans that are brand new. I have some Farm Tactics pants here. This is a brand maybe you guys don't know of, made in USA. This is new without tags. A couple hundred dollars for this pair, brand new. Um, there's some regular brands like Old Navy. There's Free People. I'm selling this lot for, um, there's some Adriano Goldschmied. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. Brand new Dickies. Um, anyway, 35 pairs of random jeans. Um, we've got Paige, the old, the old label. Um, we've got some Levi's, some Calvin Klein. And um, this brand, Rocco. I think, or wait, actually not Rocco. What is this? This is Night Train. So this is a really decent lot. Um, I'm only shipping this one to California because this is a really heavy box. So 35 pairs, this is gonna be roughly three bucks a pair. So someone's gonna come up on this All right, lot. So the first item is uh, this uh, 17 and one uh, Wii Sports Pack, it's sealed. Uh, no gamer fizz, nothing crazy, no crazy brand here, but um, it's brand new. Uh, we have a, all of these work by the way. We have a uh, GameStop X3, Xbox 360 controller. We have a couple Disney Infinity characters. We have uh, an Xbox 360 media remote. It's about $15 to $20. This is about $15 to $20 as well. This works, but it just doesn't have the battery cover. I still should have no problem selling that on eBay. We have a stack of uh, memory cards here. This gray one is about 10. Um, the rest are about five to seven each. You can put them in a lot. These both work, no issues, just normal wear. Uh, Nintendo DS Lite, these are metallic rose or something like that, that's the color. Um, no issues, work great, but there's no stylus or charger with them, but they work absolutely fine. We have a uh, Wii U extended uh, range uh, sensor bar. Uh, this is an uh, official Xbox 360 limited edition. I forgot the exact name of it, but again, no battery cover, but again, shouldn't have a problem selling that. This is a, some of these three here are a little uh, dirty, could use some cleaning, um, but you got an official PS2 controller, official Super Nintendo controller. Um, this is a sealed uh, PC game, big box. Uh, these are uh, CD-ROM ver version of Perfect General. This is sealed in there. It's covered and protected. Same thing with this one. This is sealed, uh, factory sealed. Uh, Siege. This is, I think these are, uh, yeah, these are floppy disks. And then you have Carmageddon 2, uh, Carpocalypse Now. Uh, it's not sealed, but it's in shrink and it's complete in box for the Mac. And then you have a stack of a couple games here. All of them are in great working condition. Most of the disks are in great condition. Um, Nothing real crazy or notable here. Um, just a couple games from the stack. Figured I'd throw them in here. And the whole thing is, I think, $100 plus shipping. Thanks.